Have you ever noticed that some millionaires don't look wealthy at all? It's quite surprising how they can appear broke instead of flaunting their riches. But have you ever wondered how they spend their money? It's not as extravagant as you might think. In fact, if you're someone who thinks millionaires spend their money carelessly, you're in for a surprise. They are actually quite smart with their money and allocate their income into different categories. So, if you want to learn about spending habits of millionaires and how the average person can benefit from them, keep watching. Thomas Corley, the author of Rich Habits, spent five years studying over 200 millionaires to uncover their secrets to success. He dug deep into their careers, personality traits, and most importantly, their spending habits. These millionaires all had a net worth of at least $3.2 million, which included cash, bank deposits, and investments that could quickly be converted into cash. On top of that, they had an annual income of at least $160,000. So what did Corley find? Brace yourself because there are four distinct types of millionaires, and they're not what you might expect. Get ready to learn more about the fascinating world of millionaires and how you can apply these findings to your own life. Number 1. The Big Company Climber This is a person who is employed by a large business and who, with the purpose of climbing the corporate ladder, invests all of their time and effort until they reach a position of executive responsibility and are compensated with a very high income. Number 2. The Virtuoso they are among the finest at what they do, and as a result, they command a higher salary in recognition of their superior level of knowledge and competence. Formal education, sometimes including higher degrees, is typically required, particularly in the fields of law and medicine. Number 3. The Dreamer Entrepreneur These people are going after what they want, like starting their own business, becoming an actor, musician, or writer. Dreamers are passionate about what they do and love what they do, which helps them make money because they are business owners. They are different from other people because there is no limit to how much money they can make. Number 4. The Saver Investor No matter what they do for a living, how much money they make, what credentials they have, or what opportunities they have, these people consistently save and invest and they are always looking for smart ways to get rich. This group of millionaires is most likely the average person, and they show that anyone can become a millionaire, no matter what they do for a living. Most people think of a millionaire as a high-ranking employee at a Fortune 500 company, or someone who had a great idea and built a very successful business around it. But the reality that most people don't know is that most millionaires were just average savers and investors who were able to save up enough money to reach the million dollar mark. Being a saver and investor is the easiest way to become a millionaire because you do not have to be a genius, get a lot of degrees, or work crazy long hours. They do not take big risks with their investments. Instead, they put their money in investments that have grown in the past. Anyone can become a millionaire by saving and investing. There are no requirements. Whether or not they finished high school or grew up in poverty, they should get on the right path right away and start their way to becoming wealthy. Corley found that if you want to become a millionaire by being part of the Saver Investors Group, you should try to keep your expenses at or below 80% of your net pay or what you take home. He found that Saver Investors try to save at least 20% or more of their income and always putting that money into investments. By having this frugal mindset and making investing a top priority, it is easy to become a millionaire and this is the most common way that Sample did it. Now, the most common question you might be having in your mind is, how do these savers and investors organize their spending to stay frugal and avoid spending money they do not have? Let me help you by giving some numbers. Be attentive and bear with me for the next two minutes. Number 1. Housing 25% or less of net pay Most people's housing costs take up the most of their budgets. This could be because people buy too much house for what they can afford, their rent is too high, they do not want to live with their roommates, or they do not want to make other sacrifices. So, they have to spend most of their money on keeping a roof over their heads. Millionaires who save and invest do not go crazy with this cost. Instead, they keep their housing costs at 25% or less of their monthly take-home pay. When you are happy with a small house or apartment, you can save a lot on rent, mortgage, utilities, and other costs that come with a big space. When it comes to where they live, 
these people are also willing to make sacrifices. They do not insist on living in the best part of town because they know how important it is to save money on housing and that settling for something not quite as nice will pay off. If you spend too much in this area, it is hard to save and invest aggressively. Number 2. Food Home Basics and More 15 or less of net pay. This includes things like food at home, services for personal care, and other small but essential items for the home, most of which cannot be changed. Number 3. Cars 5 or less of net pay. This one might surprise you. After housing, transportation is the second biggest cost of the average family. The millionaires who save and invest spend less than 5% of their income on transportation. This includes the monthly car payment, insurance, gas, tolls, registration, fees, repairs, and maintenance. Even though some millionaires drive expensive cars, that does not mean they spend most of their money on them. Number 4. Clothing 5% or less of net pay Millionaires do not spend a lot of money on designer brands and jewelry for their wardrobes. This sounds quite the opposite, right? Even though there are people with a lot of money who buy luxury brands and have a lot of clothes and accessories, most millionaires wear clothing brands that are not as expensive as you think it might be. Number 5. Vacations 5% or less of net pay It is very common for a middle-class family's annual vacation to cost a lot of money. A trip to Disney World or a tropical cruise during school break is very expensive for the average family. The millionaires who save and invest spend less than 5% of their net income on vacation. They do not deny themselves travel and fun. But they take small, cheap vacations that do not cost so much that they cannot afford to travel again or pay for other necessities. How does this compare to the average or slightly above average family that spends $5,000, $10,000, or even $15,000 on a family vacation? Do comment down if you can relate with any of the points discussed. As always, we love to listen to your point of view as well. Number 6. Entertainment 10% or less of net pay This includes bars, restaurants, takeout, movies, music, books, and streaming services. These costs are a part of a healthy lifestyle, but the happiness they bring is short-lived and does not stick out. How can an average person save 20% or more of their income for the future? Let us say you make $50,000 a year, which is not a lot. If you save 20% of what you made, that would amount to about $750 per month. This is a very doable amount, especially if you learn how to cut large budget lines and slowly raise your income. These millionaires are careful with what are usually a household's two biggest costs because they know that overspending in these areas could make it impossible to save regularly. When it comes to housing costs, they do not waste money. They do not buy or rent more space than they need. And when it comes to location, they are willing to make sacrifices. When it comes to transportation, they are also careful and they do not waste money on more expensive cars than they need. The key to being a good saver and investor is to keep track of what are usually the biggest household costs. No matter how different types of millionaires are put together, they all have similar attitudes about money. They know how to spend their money and do not waste it very often. They care about quality and know that being cheap does not save them money. The good news is that most people can easily adopt these ways of spending. Think about how saver investors spend their money and how they classify their income so you can do the same.